Hello everybody. Welcome to Word Shard. So today we'll be doing some exercises so that we can check whether the uh, the part that we did in the last class is clear to us or not. Okay, so exercise one. Let's see the exercise. Let's see the questions. What we are told to do: change the following sentences to indirect speech. In the last class, we had discussed everything that we require to know when we are changing the direct speech to indirect speech. The opposite thing we have not done. We have not learned how to change from indirect to direct. But this way, it is done. So first one. Let's see. The stranger asked him. So you will not change the stranger. This remains the same. The stranger asked him. keep this unchanged also because you are using the it is already written asked word is already written over here no need of change the stranger asked him what will you do you will remove these two what you will write over here you will write asked him you will not write that because it is an interrogative sentence we do not use that in case of an interrogative sentence so next we will see what is this a wh question yes because wh is here isn't it so where directly will not use if or whether also because it starts with a wh question so the stranger asked him where now do you live how do you change do you live do live is a simple present tense so make it did where did who is this you who is this you this you is the stranger or him you is this him to whom the stranger is talking to with whom the stranger is talking to that one so the stranger asked him where did he live you can also write yeah, yeah, only you will have to write he only here because it is mentioned him okay if there was nothing mentioned over here you could have written me she anything where did she live where did i live you can use these words also but because it is mentioned him you will have to write where did he live then full stop we will change this question mark to full stop and we'll remove the quotes from here done so the stranger asked him where did he live full stop next answer question number 2 uh, the policeman said to us we are not changing the policeman this remains the same said to change the said to to what change the said to to asked because it is an interrogative question said to us the policeman asked us remove this question mark uh, this comma and quotes to what do you use that no because this is an interrogative question we do not use that next we will see is it a wh question no it is not a wh question so you will use what in by re, while removing this one you will directly write down if or whether anything you can write so the policeman asked us if now do you need to be dropped home do you need now do need is a simple present tense so change it to simple past if now who is you you is us the policeman is talking to us so you is us so you write if we we have to write here we because more than one people is here isn't it we have to write we the policeman asked us if we needed change this change this thing to simple past this was simple present do need so change it to simple past if we needed to be dropped home this part will remain the same be dropped home full stop we will remove the question mark from here and put full stop okay so the policeman asked us if we needed to be dropped home okay let's move to the third sentence meeta said i know her address so meeta said this remains the same we will change this to what that meeta said that who is i i is meeta herself so meeta said that she no is simple present tense so she knew she knew her address full stop remove the quotes from here okay he screamed coming to the fourth sentence he screamed no need of changing this he screamed now we will see what kind of sentence is this leave me alone this is order isn't it so we will use which word we will use the word to over here in the place of that so he screamed to leave who is this me he is talking about himself so me is he only so he screamed to leave him alone you will have right him over here okay done next we'll come to the fifth one akash said this part remains the same akash said now akash is talking to whom akash is talking to the boys so directly write akash said to the boys or ordered the boys because this is an order akash ordered the boys now because it is an order we will write which word over here to we will write to akash ordered the boys to be quiet and listen to whom listen to akash so listen to him 
what will you write over here now it will be then okay full stop you will remove the quotes sixth one this is the last one for revision he said bravo this part remains the same or you can write here he exclaimed with delight or he applauded because bravo what kind of a word is this you are uh, applauding somebody you are saying somebody that you have done something good so he said happily or he applauded him change this you to him he applauded him and said that he have done what will you change had done this is present perfect you change it to past perfect done had done well so he exclaimed with delight that he had done well or he applauded that he had done well or i had done well or she had done well anything because it is not mentioned to whom he is speaking to we can write anything in the place of you you can write he said uh, he applauded uh, or he exclaimed with delight that i had done well or she had done well or he had done well all these three sentences are correct we will now move to the second exercise this one is a new one for today we are changing indirect to direct speech okay just the opposite other way round he asked rama so first we see the first part before the quotations what we will write directly write he in the place of asked write said to he said to rama now we will add a comma after that and we start the quotes okay inside the quotes the first word will start with a capital letter so he said to rama comma see this is an order isn't it remove the two we added two in the other case so now we'll remove the two we will start with the capital letter b we will start b alert quotation close okay let's move to the second one what is the second one the second one says rama replied now again you can write rama said comma here is that do we use that in the direct speech no so you'll remove this one okay so rama said comma from here we starts the start the quote now this he will be written in capital letter what word we will write in place of he rama who is this he this he is rama himself so rama is talking about his own self okay so he will be changed to i so rama said comma quotation open i now could not change it to the immediate the previous one could not so cannot do so so i cannot do so quotes close okay first full stop then quotes close let's move to the third one he asked his father now this is an interrogative one so he said to his father change this word to said to he said to his father comma now we open the quotes see when this is wh question so in case of wh question we do not use if whether so it is not there also no need of doing anything just change this to a capital letter when when the next letter would come would how will you change would come it will become will come now when the next letter will come we have to end it with a question mark so it has to be written in the form of the question mark isn't it so when add the will over here when will the next letter come you add the letter will in this place okay let's move to the fourth one his father replied that there might not be another that year his father replied so his father said comma remove this that from here then how will you change the word there here you write it here here might not might will be changed to what may then not be another this part will remain the same as it is that year will become this year so his father replied comma quotations open here might not here may not be another this year full stop quotation close next number 5 rama asked me so rama asked change this asked word to said to rama said to me then you give a comma over here and open the quotes what now this is also wh question so write it in capital letter what had happened so had happened is past perfect you just from the present perfect we used to change to past perfect in case of changing from direct to indirect so you'll do just the opposite we'll write what have happened or what has happened because hari it is singular so what has happened to hari then it has to be there has to be a question mark in the end after the question mark you close the quotes next we'll move to number 6 i told him that i had not seen him for months i told him you can keep it this way also you can write i said to him then you give a comma you start the quotes that remove this that from here okay so i told him comma then 
I had not seen. I is this I only. So here also it will be I only. Keep it as it is. I. Now had not seen. What is this? Past perfect. You just change it to present perfect. So I have not seen. Who is this him? This him is this one, isn't it? So when I am talking to somebody, I will talk how? I will say you. So I have not seen you for months. Full stop. Then uh, the seventh one. The master requested. So this is a request. Now, when you are requesting something, it will be please. So the master said to whom? Said to them. So you write master said to them, comma. Remove that from here. Open the, uh, give a comma and open the quotes. Then you start with please. Then what will you write? Would attend. Just remove this and directly write please attend carefully to what he was saying. No, it will be is saying because this is past continuous. We will change it to present continuous. Okay. Then close quotes. Full stop first and then close quotes. Number eight. I wrote that I would visit him next day. So directly you write I wrote. Then you give a comma. Then you remove this that from here. Okay. Start the quotes. I am writing about myself only. So I. I am talking about myself. So I will remain I. Would visit will change to will visit. Him will remain the same. Next day will change to tomorrow. Okay. We know that from next day it will become tomorrow. I told them to be quiet. Ninth one. I told them this one remains the same or you can write I ordered them or you can write I said to them comma put a comma over here remove this two from here open the quotes and just write be quiet but this one will be in a capital letter okay next the tenth one the last one the father told the boy just write said over here the father said to the boy give a comma over here then remove the that from here open the quotes and start with the capital letter from here okay the earth revolves will we change it to revolved no because it is a universal truth the earth revolves around the sun it will remain the same as it is just close the quotes after it the father said to the boy comma open quotes the earth revolves around the sun so that is all uh, this is all about direct and indirect speech we have learned the other way also today from indirect to direct if there is any other problem you can obviously comment in the comment section and i hope it is clear to you if it is not uh, then i would if you tell me i can go on for further videos regarding that few exercises we can solve on it and if you require more exercises and uh, tell your friends if you like it Please comment, subscribe and share. Thank you so much children.